Time family, this video is for anyone out there who wants to start making serious changes as it relates to their health, their physical shape, whether you want to lose weight, gain muscle, whatever you want to do. If you just want to feel better, more calm, if you want to have more energy every single day, if you want to be more vibrant, more, if you want to just, just take, make the most of life, damn it, <laughs> then this video is definitely for you. So let's dive in. So we're looking at essentially our beliefs in this video. So one of the key things I want you to teach you is that very much like the layers of an onion, that's how beliefs work as well. So very rarely are like uh, beliefs just plucked out of the air. Like there's a reason that why people come up with certain beliefs. Um, many reasons, you know, sometimes because of our, our primitive reptilian brain, the fact that we've, you know, 200,000 years ago, when we, you know, over 200,000 years ago, when we first originated, we had this fear of certain things like being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger or those monsters and creatures and all these sort of things. And we still have that biologically wired in our brain over time through our reptilian brain, uh, our most basic primitive brain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and so many people kind of take that level of stress and they put it into different areas as it relates to their, their business. For example, they, you know, someone's, uh, someone's co-worker or manager or boss or friend, um, you know, might be that saber-toothed tiger, if that makes sense. So we kind of create unnecessary stress and overreact to a lot of different situations, which exacerbates stress levels, knocks us off path, ruins our, our structure, making us make worse decisions as it relates to eating unhealthily, you know, not training the way we want, not pushing ourselves, not taking things to that next level because of our limiting beliefs and how our blueprints and that we don't think we, we are capable of more in these different areas that relate to health and fitness. I'm here to tell you that's nonsensical. You can change and I'm living proof of that and I'm helping dozens of people to make that transformation as well. So you're definitely going to want to get on board, folks. So let's start training. Let's give you some content to enjoy. So let's say someone has a, a belief, you know, I can't lose weight. I can't lose weight. That's a belief. That what a lot of people don't understand is that belief might be wrapped around larger, more generic beliefs. So the belief I can't lose weight or uh, I can't, I don't like exercising. That's a, that's a belief, right? That can be connected to uh, fear of the unknown. You know, I, I am not good. I am not good at uh, changing, changing things in my life. Yeah. You understand what I've done there? Like this example, this is very much specific to the world of fitness and health. But what a lot of people don't understand is that that's oftentimes connected to deeper, more underlying beliefs that goes beneath the surface, if you will. So a lot of people's beliefs are actually attached and more deeply rooted within other kind of other kind of deep core beliefs that maybe relate to our childhood or key significant emotional events that's happened in our lives um, that still influence us today. And, and what's interesting is, is that sometimes we'll have other beliefs that are still connected to this, this major one, which kind of helps to reinforce this belief. I know, I've lost you now, haven't I? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll make more sense. So let's let's give you a another belief, okay? So this one is specific to health and fitness. Let's Let's give another one. Um, okay, uh, I need this job, I need this job, okay, a feeling that people have in their professional careers, for example, they're dependent, they only have one source of income, they've got lots of bills and mortgages and things to pay for, um, and they feel like they need a certain job. Now, interestingly, that belief is actually probably connected to the same belief over here, I am not good at changing new things in my life. They believe that they can't learn to invest in different areas or create a, a side business or a full time business for that matter uh, because of this same belief. Now, this belief is therefore, I'm sure you guessed it, surely, connected to this one. Do you understand? And this is why a lot of people struggle to change their beliefs. They'll start doing some really cool things like affirmations, maybe incantations. They start saying what they want to do in my life. You know, I can lose weight. I can do all these things. And then over time, after a few days, that kind of passion, that rigor will kind of fizzle away because it's connected to deeper underlying beliefs. So our, essentially what I'm saying is 
Our identity has to change. Who we are has to change. This core deep underlying belief needs to be addressed. But we need to first be able to identify that. And I can help that. Just keep watching my videos. I'm not going to go into it too extensively in this one. Uh, but this is the process that enables change. Uh, this is why people struggle to change their beliefs. If you want to learn more, check out my YouTube channel, guys, at... Um, yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell because every single week I release several videos and also things like episodes, podcasts, like amazing content for free that you're definitely going to watch and learn from. So I hope you appreciate this video. If you have liked it, also subscribe like I mentioned. Have a great day. Stay strong.